Hi everyone, Hazard here. It's 11 o'clock, and I know, I know, I didn't post yesterday. Uh, tablet cut out on me every time I wanted to record. Recording on this a different device. Try to see if this will work. On I'm gonna do two videos tonight, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do my schedule. I'm gonna do the two Jack Frost videos I promised yesterday today. It's 11 o'clock, so this won't come out until like noon. Um, by noon I mean midnight. Or later than midnight. Uh, I gotta do this. Let's do this. Sports festival. Here we go. Midoriya's hails. Izuku Midoriya. He's chilling. Um, chilling like a villain. Hanging out with Bakugo. Who's, you know, frustrated that, you know, it's the, f it's like the third week of school. And he already has a girlfriend. You know, he's hit him over the forehead. He's like, come on, man. And he's like, it's not cool, dude. And he explains, and Zuku explains, you know, they, they're not even dating, they're not, they're just friends, and that she asked him to come train with her, so he did, but it got too late for his, for, mo for his mom to pick him up, so he also had to end up staying there. Ba-dum, bum, 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 bum. One thing led to another, he forgot his shirt, then she gave it to him, blah, blah, blah. Bakugo goes, yeah, well, I hope you can tell that to the rest of the class, because if anyone else saw, rumors are going to spread. Very fast. Now, uh, during this conversation, uh, we switch over to Todoroki's house. She's chilling in her living room with her brother and her sister. Both of them are there. They're eating their food. It could be whatever you guys want. You choose the dinner meal. Imagine it in your head. A nice, lovely dinner with your two siblings, who are the only two people you actually give a shit about in your family. Um... They're chilling. Toy is not here because we don't. I don't know if we meet him. I don't even know if he's Dobby. Maybe he's not Dobby. I don't know. I don't care. Don't spoil. Um. Uh. But uh, she's thinking to herself, I should invite uh Midoriya over to train for the uh, sports festival, and goes, God damn it! I can't get him out of my head, and accidentally says it out loud. Sister turns and goes, Can't get who out of your head, and she looks and goes, Uh. A friend and her brother looks up and goes, "All right, who is this dude? Why do you have? Why is he on your mind?" And she goes, "Zuku Midoriya, and he came over the train, and I can't stop thinking about him." And that's when her sister responds with, "Ooh, so the Ice Queen's in love?" And she goes, "It's not like that. I think I, we're just friends." And that's when her brother chimes in, "Really? Because..." Just talking about it, you seem to be blushing. And, uh, or it, him. Sorry, Midoriya's not an it. Uh, talking about him, you seem to be a little flustered. Um, you know. And, uh, explains, blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, he goes, I think you might actually have a crush on someone. She responds with, what's a crush? As it is the Ice Queen... Totoroki. Um, now, you know, he ends up explaining it, blah, 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 and goes, you should totally call this dude over, and then you can find out if you actually have feelings or not. Plus, I'd love to meet the guy who got my sister all flustered just by talking about him. Blum, 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 bum, blum, bum, 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 da, 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 what to do next? Uh, Midoriya, chillin'. And Bakugo responds with, after Midori explains everything, you should call this girl, you should call her, and just clear everything up with her. You don't want anything... One sec. Could have sworn I heard someone talking. Either I'm going crazy, or someone's talking downstairs. Um, but, uh, you know, Bakugo explains, you need to call her, and you need to clear this whole mess up. And, you know... And um, Izuku's like, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. And he, and he looks at her, and he looks at Bakugo and goes, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And Bakugo taps him on the forehead and goes, yes, you can. And he stands up, and, you know, he's like putting his hands on Izuku's shoulders and goes, you can do it, just call her, and just say, sorry about the other day, blah, 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 blah. And, and all of a sudden, Izuku's phone goes, ooh, ooh, and he picks it up, and it's her calling him 
and Bakugo goes, perfect. Now you don't have to be, now you don't have to work up the nerves to call her. She called you. I'm going to be going. You guys have a nice chat. Starts walking out the door. And he looks at Jack and goes, you should come. Jack goes, no way. I'm not missing this for the world. Uh, Ziku answers the phone. Bakugo walks downstairs. Now, Bakugo, walking down the stairs, uh, his mom, his dad, and his aunt, uh, of course, is, uh, Oh god, one sec. Is uh Izuka's mom, uh, Inko, all look at him going, Explain why are you talking about girls? He explains everything up to the point of where he uh Bak uh, up to where Deku left his shirt at a girl's place and she brought it back. And forgets to explain the rest as uh Izuku walks down the stairs. Now the reason Izuku's walking down the stairs, flashback two seconds ago, Izuku picks up the phone. Hi Todoroki. Um Hi Midoriya. I just wanted to know if you wanted to come over and train for the USJ, oh, not the USJ, for the sports festival. He responds with, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll come over, um, I'll just let my mom know and I'll be right there. And she goes, cool, I'll just, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. And, uh, she hangs up and Izuku walks down the stairs as Bakugo finishes saying that he had that she brought his shirt in the class. Inko stands up pissed you slept over a girl's house and took off your shirt and um uh you know very very angry blah 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 um and uh you know uh, he explains everything Bakugo's like I didn't get to finish saying I didn't get to finish uh explaining it and then uh Inko's like calming down and he goes speaking about Todoroki she asked me to come over again uh, to train for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, sports festival, and his mom responds with, no, and Bakugo goes, what, why not, he needs to clear things up with her, and then, and then, Miski, uh, Miski, I think is Bakugo's mother's name, I'm not sure, and her husband respond with, come on, Inko, you gotta let, at least let him clear things up with her, and that's when Inko goes, fine, but you have to take Bakugo and Jack with you, and Jack goes, how oh, I'm gonna, I'm going, because I just want to see what happens, Bakugo's like, oh, I don't want to go. And then Bakugo's mother goes, you will go. You have no choice in this. Bakugo goes, you can't make me, old hag. And she goes, wham, right over the back of the head. And he's, two seconds later, he's walking out the door holding his head. Him and Izuku are walking over to uh, Bak uh, not Bakugo's house, to uh, Todoroki's house. Meanwhile, at the Todoroki's family, it's been about 20 minutes. She's waiting patiently, and she hears a... Uh, do, 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 on the door, or, uh, and, uh, you know, walks over and answers the door, or she doesn't, her brother walks over and turns the door, sees it's his father, and goes, oh, shit, in his head, doesn't say it out loud, dad walks in, and he's bruised, he has a couple cuts on him, and he's pissed off, he's in a tantrum, he's throwing shit, and um, the reason is he just uh, got beat up by... Uh, he just had All Might save his life as uh, he was on patrol trying to find the villains that attacked his uh, precious cargo, his daughter, at the sports festival. And nearly got beaten, and All Might had to intervene, saving his, uh, basically saving his life. And he's upset, and, uh, uh, you know, he tells his son to go get him ice. And his son walks off, goes to get the ice. Now, uh, in the living room... Uh, he sits down, and Todoroki's in the kitchen right now, just, uh, waiting patiently, sh walking back and forth, when her sister and her brother run in, as her sister's, uh, running out of the living room, not wanting to be in the same room as her father, when, boom, boom, angry, exploding like a volcano, um, and, uh, they go, you have to call your friend back, and tell him not to come, because if dad finds out that you've invited a friend, or a boy over, especially... Or a friend over, especially a boy, he'll flip out. And uh, she goes, Dad's home? And he goes, yep. And so she starts hurrying to call Izuku when, two seconds later, dum -dum -dum, on the door. Uh, and they were standing up like, who the hell is this? And, you know, uh, all three of them run in and uh, he go, uh, her, his son runs in and goes, Dad, you know, you should go train. You don't want people fighting. Uh, you want to get stronger because you want people to find out All Might saved your life. And his, and his dad looks at him like he's about to hit him. And like goes, you're right. And runs off to go train, get stronger. As he, sweat, he wipes his head off, 
or his hand on his head, going, whew, that was a close one. And uh, Todoroki opens the door while Bakugo is standing there, smiling, and she goes, who the hell are you? And he goes, uh, thanks Todoroki, or no, thanks half and half. I'm Bakugo Katsuki, and I'm here with the nerd who wants to be here. His mom told me I had to come. And she's like, whatever, come on in, we need to go. Grabs Izuku's hand and starts walking. Jack, however, is smiling, thinking things are getting uh, a little frisky for his uh, cold heart. So, uh, you know, out of boredom, he floats away from uh, Izuku and Bakugo, who both turn and go, where are you going? He goes, uh, just have a look around, don't worry, I'll be back in a minute. As uh, the brother and sister start pushing uh, the Bakugo and Izuku and Todoroki into the room, and the five of them are in a room together. Now... Uh, uh, <laughs> he goes, what the hell, you two? You guys are really shovy. No wonder Todoroki doesn't like her family. And that's when her brother chimes in, this is the guy you might have a crush on? As, uh, um, Bakugo goes and responds with, what? <laughs> I don't think we're on the same page here. <laughs> I'm here to protect him because his mother told me to. And then they're like, oh, so that's the kid you have a crush on. And that's when ba hey, Zuku goes, uh, wait a minute, Todoroki has a crush on me? And it's like turning pink and all of a sudden just faints. Baku goes, way to go, you finally killed the damn nerd. And uh, meanwhile, Jack floating around the building, looking around, you know, enjoying things. He sees a big, big vase and he looks at it and goes, who the hell would buy such crappy pottery? Turns his head and sees a picture of Endeavor, and he screams <laughs> out of just pure terror. And then he goes, oh, it's just a painting. And he goes, hmm. And he floats over grabbing a marker, drawing a mustache on Endeavor's face. <laughs> and a big old goatee. And he starts laughing as Endeavor walks around the corner seeing a pen floating drawing on his uh, thing. And he goes, what the hell? And uh, uh, Jack drops the eraser, or Jack drops the pen and goes, Okay, just act like nothing happened. And he goes, Why was that pen floating? And Jack's like, Ooh. And then he goes, and Jack's whistling, da, 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 as uh, Endeavor picks up the pen, going, What the hell? And he goes, Why is it so cold in here? And Jack's like, That's my cue to leave. Starts floating when Endeavor realizes that his paint, his perfect masterpiece of himself is ruined and he gets pissed and he lights the whole hallway in fire and Jack starts uh, feeling weird and he falls onto his knees and he he feels weird. He's He feels like his entire body has been put into a microwave and he turns around seeing Endeavor who's like, who the hell are you? And he goes, you can see me? And he goes... Yeah, some type of ghost or something. And uh, now, the reason why this is happening, a little backstory. This isn't canon or anything in any type of Jack backstory or anything. This is just for my character development and for him to have a weakness. Anything hotter than 100 degrees immediately starts to hurt him. Uh, the only thing that can make him like have a physical body is something burning up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. And, you know... Uh, he's and Endeavor's flames are just like way hot and he's sitting there and he's like he's dripping and he's wondering what's happening um, as he turns around picking up his staff slamming it on the ground freezing the hallway shut and then he goes invisible again Endeavor's like what where'd you go and uh, immediate and uh, he immediately flies off scared out of his mind and wondering why he actually felt like, in pain. He never felt pain. He's never felt anything. And, you know, and the only things he can feel are objects. And, you know, and sometimes even they fall through him. It took him years to master to be able to pick up an object. And he goes, but uh, I never knew I was susceptible to heat. And, you know, he's floating away. And he's holding his chest. And, um, uh, he floats into the room. And, uh, then falls onto the ground, um, and, you know, uh, uh, the brother, uh, the brother and sister of Todoroki both turn around and go, what the hell is that? When Bakio grabs their mouth and goes, you can see him? And they both shake their heads and he goes, okay, keep quiet, this is his quirk. Alright, Jack, what happened? Why are you visible to these two? And he goes, 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, my body feels like it's on fire. And uh, Izuku, who's waking up in Todoroki's arms, you know, sits up very fast, walks over, and hears Jack in pain. And all of a sudden, Izuku starts reeling back in pain as well and falls onto his knee. And he goes, why is it so hot in here? And all of them look at each other and go, dude, it's like 20 degrees. And uh, he realizes that Jack's heart is glowing, a, uh, his chest is glowing a weird, well, a weird orange. And uh, the reason is his his, uh, his heart has been being melted. And it's turning, uh, the heat from Endeavor's flame is melting his ice. And it's basically killing him. And so Izuku uses his ice powers touching Jack's chest, freezing him again. And all of a sudden, both of them stand back up, like, weirded out. When Endeavor comes flying through the room, boom! Uh, and he, uh, you know, is, like, looking for Jack. Uh, not accidentally sending Izuku flying through the window and Bakugo and young Todoroki. And the other two are stuck there. And he's explaining that he saw some monster inside the house. And he's here, and he's trying to, uh, a villain inside the house, and he's trying to track it. Where's Todoroki? And they go outside, or, uh, they go in her room, and they run off to go to her room. When, uh, or he runs off to go to her room. Uh, completely forgetting about the other two, as they're not important in his mind. He just needs to keep Todoroki safe. Um, and Todoroki comes flying in, outside the window, um, into the ground. And Bakugo catches her. And Zuku falls into the two of uh, them, and they all crash. And Jack stands up and goes, we need to go, now. And Todoroki's like, yeah, that's not good. And they run off, the three of them. Uh, or four of them, technically. And they, uh, you know, they go to Zuku's house, and Zuku's mom uh, is freaking out that he brought a girl to her, their house. Uh, she's like, it's lovely to meet you, blah, 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 blah. And uh, she goes, I need to get going. My dad's probably furious. And she starts going. And uh, we skip the whole next two weeks. And uh, Izuku and Jack are trying to figure out why Jack was in pain. And why Izuku could feel it. And why he was hurting too. But they didn't figure out anything. They couldn't figure out anything. Um, you know, um, they figured maybe it was the heat. But Jack has been in warm weather before. It's never bothered him. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna scratch something out, uh, it doesn't take, fi uh, um, it doesn't take, like, heat to, uh, hurt him, it's just fire itself. Like, the heat doesn't hurt him, it's the flame that hurts him. So, the flame could literally be, like, 50 degrees, and it could be, like, a dying ember of ash, and it would still hurt him. Um, but because the whole room was on fire, he was in pain, and it was starting to melt him, basically. Um, and I think of him as, like, a piece of ice, but his heart is the ice. So the rest of his body is not like a human body, but his heart and, you know, is just pure, solid ice. It's like dry ice, and if it starts to melt, he's in pain. It's like, it's like if you were to hold your hand in boiling water, and then immediately take it out, and then dip it in the flame, and then back into the boiling water, and back in the flame, and back and forth for, like, three hours, and take your hand out and see what it looks like, you know? And, you know, he's in pain, and he couldn't figure it out, and they didn't know why. Um, and they couldn't find out until the day a sports festival comes up. And Zuku's, you know, panicking, you know. And he's talking to uh, Jack in the uh, waiting room for the uh, uh, for the beginning of the sports festival. When everyone walks, before everyone walks out, and uh, Midnight gives her, uh, gives the speech of the sports festival and everything that's going to happen. Uh, before Todoroki does the whole challenges thing, but she's not going to do it in this one. Uh, she, uh, Izuku's mumbling to Jack, and he's like, We still haven't figured out what hurt you. We need to find this out. This could potentially put us in risk. When, uh, Todoroki walks over and goes, Have, have you figured out what caused you to get, uh, what caused you and Jack and to give you, uh, caused you guys to go in pain? And, uh, Baku over here is just in degrees, and he goes, Yeah, what happened? And the three of them are talking in the corner when Uraka runs up, and is like, I'm sorry, uh, what were we talking about? And uh, the three of them immediately go, uh, we were talking about how this we're going to win, be the top three in the sports festival. And then uh, Ida looks at them and goes, yeah, most likely you guys do have the three strongest quirks. That was uh, very bad. Um, you know, and uh, and they, uh, Aizawa walks in and goes, 
it's time. I'll bandage, uh, uh no, not all bandaged up. Uh, yeah, all bandaged up. Yes, yes, yeah. Is he still injured? I think he is. We'll, we'll just say he was still injured, uh, due to no one being there to save him. Uh, uh, just Lincoln Cannon. Um, so he's all bandaged up and he goes, it's time, blah, 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 walks off and goes into the, where he's supposed to sit with, a uh, present Mike, and the rest of them walk out, and all the classes are there. And, um, uh, Shinso already gave his speech the day before, uh, all the incident happened with, uh, Todoroki and them. Uh, so they, uh, walk out, and, um, yeah, this was a very, uh, shipping-based episode today. I'm gonna pick up on the next part with the sports festival, and maybe a little bit after. Or should I continue? You know what, I'm gonna continue as long, uh for a little while, uh, basically, they walk out, um, and being the number one student in, uh, or the, the, like, best student in UA, uh, Class 1A is Azuku, um, due to his quirk being the best well-rounded, he's a, he has the best control over his quirk, plus he's a straight-A student, you know, and goes up and he goes, uh, does a whole speech, and the speech is, uh, we all want to become heroes, but in order to do that, some of us have to lose. Um, but even if you lose, that doesn't mean you won't become a hero. As long as you hold hope and justice for all, you'll still become a hero in my books. Smiles, walks off stage, everyone cheers. Shinzo's la uh, Shinzo's upset, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, uh, you know... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's the, uh, the, uh, race, right? Uh, the, I almost said recovery battle. The, um, recovery battle, um, whatever. It's the, uh, obstacle race. And, present Mike, three, two, uh, or the race starts, and Todoroki does the just like she does in the canon, or he does in canon, she does. Freezes everyone. Now, um, Izuku gets frozen. Bakugo and all the same people who get out, get out. But Izuku's frozen. And he smiles as, uh, he starts, um, pulling the ice apart from his feet. Um, walking on, like, literally dragging his feet through the ice. Like, pulling the ice around him. And he starts, like, moving faster and faster. And he's basically sliding through the ice. And he's, and, uh, Todoroki freezes the giant robots. Um, on off their balance, just like in anime, and they start to fall when Izuku, um, the uh, like uh, does his breath attack and boom, and pushes all of them flying over Todoroki's head, landing, and she goes, "That's not good," and she makes an ice uh, like a giant ice uh, ramp to walk over them, and Izuku s comes flying up the ramp, going, "Sorry, Todoroki," turning around, roundhouse kicking her in the stomach. And she falls off the uh, thing where Bakugo comes flying past her. And she's like, I can't lose to those two. And starts running. Um, and uh, they get to the uh, wire thing where they start walking across. Izuku smiles as he uh, taps two wires with his... Oh, grabs two wires with his hands. Making a giant ice, basically, bridge. And he literally takes a running start and slides all the way across. But as he's sliding the ice cracks and starts falling underneath him as he's sliding uh Todoroki comes running on one of the wires um and he's like how is she keeping her balance as uh she gets ready uh as she's moving she jumps onto a platform and jumps onto his ice breaking it and he starts falling down the cavern as he uh makes uh, an ice wall on the side of the wall and making handprints and climbs his way back up and now, all of a sudden, Todoroki's gone, Bakugo is gone, and Sue is just catching up. And he's like, oh, God dang it. And he pulls himself up and uh, makes another ice thing and slides across. Todoroki is now at the uh, uh, ahead of the thing, and uh, Bakugo's coming behind her. Uh, and everyone else is there, too. He's just in the same place as he was in the uh, thing. And he's like, what can I do, what can I do? And he looks around and he sees the people were blowing up. And he uh, he smiles and uh, does the same thing as he does in canon. Starts digging them up and placing them. And then he uh, 
makes a giant ice, basically an ice, ca the Captain America shield, and uh, makes a giant ice shield, and jumps on the sh ice, and it, the ice shatters, but he comes flying in out of nowhere, and Jack turns around, making a gust of wind pick him up, and he's basically flying on wind, and Jack's flying next to him, and they're f basically flying, and uh, he's passing Todoroki and Bakugo, and uh, Bakugo makes a huge explosion, knocking Izuku out of the air. But he falls, rolling out of it, running. And uh, Todoroki, who's still in the land landmine, Bakugo, who's about to pass her, she does the whole... I know this will give a foothold for everyone else, but I need to catch up with those two. Freezes the ground and starts running on the ice. And her and Bakugo are now fighting when Iz uh, Izuku turns around, waving his hand, making a giant ice, basically like a giant square of ice punch both of them in the side Bakugo takes the brunt of it Todoroki takes a hit of it Bakugo makes an explosion blowing up the chunk of it rolling out of it Todoroki uh also uses the hole Bakugo made to roll out of it and they run Izuku's just crossed the finish line then comes Todoroki then Bakugo and Bakugo uh you know smiling because he hasn't had this much fun in a while Todoroki who's not upset, but just, uh, you know, is upset, but not fully upset, um, you know, and walks off. Bakugo looks at uh, Izuku and goes, that was a cheap shot. And Izuku goes, well, it's the only way I could think of keeping you from going past me. With your explosions, you could easily have gone faster than me. Plus, it took out two birds with one stone. And Bakugo starts laughing and goes, yeah, it did. And they walk off. Uh, everyone else gets the same place as they, uh, uh as in... Normal, uh, Izuku gets first, Todoroki gets third, uh, second, then Bakugo gets third, and they walk off. Then it's the, uh, uh, cavalry battle, I think it is. Um, and, uh, Todoroki, uh, walks over to Izuku, and Izuku's like, uh, oh, hey, Todoroki. And Bakugo also walks over, and he's like, what, what's up? And they're like, they're talking, and they're like, uh, they're asking, because uh, Bakuyo says, I'm pretty sure I saw you get frozen in Todoroki's attack. And she, he goes, exactly. How did you get out? And he goes, well, I just moved the ice around my feet. And both of them are like, wait, what? And he goes, well, yeah, moving ice is just the same as creating it. And Todoroki is super confused on that he has the power to bend ice. And uh, Jack, who's... uh, uh and uh, and uh, Bakugo responds with, Oh, so why were you floating? And uh, Jack goes, That was me. I just made a gust of wind that picked him up and allowed him to basically fly. And uh, that's how I traveled most of the time before. Uh, and he goes, That's how I travel. And I just uh, catch a ride of wind. I just made a gust of wind that carried him. And he goes, That's cool. So you can pretty much fly. And he goes, Yeah, not that fast though. Only around Mach 1. And Bakugo drops his jaw and goes, you can move around Mach 1 while flying? And he goes, yeah, but you don't have much maneuver uh, much maneuverability. You can, like, barely turn at that speed without just going splat. And uh, Bakugo <laughs> goes, I wonder if I could fly with my explosions. And uh, Zuku goes, pretty much, I mean, you can pretty much lift yourself off the ground and go flying forwards. So it wouldn't be that difficult for you to just make explosions and basically fly. And he goes, yeah, I guess. And uh, that's when uh, Todoroki uh, snaps them out of it as they're having a conversation about their quirks. And goes, uh, or not Todoroki, Midnight snaps them out of it and goes, you two, stop talking. I'm explaining the next thing. And they're like, oh, uh, yeah. Explains the cavalry battle. And Bakugo and Izuku look at each other and they smile. And they uh, grab hand, they like handshake. And that's when, uh, that's when, um. Uh, but, 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 but Kirishima walks up to Bakugo and goes, Hey, I want to be on your team. And, you know, he goes, I was going to pick Todoroki, but she already picked some, but she already picked the team. And he goes, Oh, uh, so have you apparently. And he goes, Nope, it was just the two of us, but now that we have someone else. And then Uraka taps Izuku on the shoulder going, Hi, would you, know, would you like to be on my, uh, can I be on your team? And he goes, Sure thing. And May runs up. Blah, 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 babies, babies, that's pretty much all she says, um, you know, and they're like, babies, what? And she shows them the gadgets, and, you know, uh, Kirishima's in the front, uh, Bakugo's on top, 
Izuku's on the left side, or the right side, or, no, yeah, Izuku's in the middle, and, uh, holding Bakugo up, so Bakugo's legs are on top of, uh, Izuku's shoulders, and, um, Kirishima's hands are holding on the, uh, Izuku's, so he can take the blunt of the explosion, so Izuku doesn't have to, um, and, uh, she makes those hover boots for everyone, uh, she has three pairs of it, so she wears, uh, Mei wears her hover boots, Uraka wears them, and Kirishima wears them, and they're like, but when, uh, Izuku slow us down, he goes, no, I'm gonna make a sheet of ice, and we're gonna skate around, thinks you guys have hover boots, it'll make us move a little faster as well, and they, uh, they look, and Bakugo's wearing a, a jetpack, he's like, with this thing, I can really fly, and Jack's smiling, he's like, yep, we got a pretty well team, and, and it's like, Cavalry battle starts now, and it starts off, and Tokiyami, uh, joined up with Mineta and Sue's group, um, so Sue and Dark Shadow could snatch people's bands off while, uh, Mineta stuck them, and, um, uh, uh, multi arm dude, uh, covers the three of them up, and, um, uh, basically, that just to explain what happened to, to uh, Izuku's group in canon, uh, Bakugo's group is fending for themselves, um, who else was in Bakugo's group? Can't think. Siro. Shiro and, uh, Acid Girl, right? Or by themselves, pretty much. Um, or they joined up with someone else's team, I don't know. Don't really care. Um, but, uh, basically what happens, this is a long video, 31 minutes. Wow, uh, hope you guys enjoy. But, um, it starts off with, uh, Bakugo coming flying out of nowhere using the jetpack and his explosions towards, uh, 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 b b b what's the guy who, uh, Monoma, the annoying guy, you know, the blonde haired dude that looks like Bakugo when he combs his hair down, um, uh, and his group, uh, thinking he could snatch their headband, uh, Izuku didn't even get to finish explaining the plan, because Bakugo took right off, and he goes, that moron's gonna get our headband taken away, now, um, between all of them, they have, like, 10,000 something odd points, so if they just, uh, avoided everyone, they were gonna win. But Bakugo wanted to have a fight, so he ran off on his own. Sorry if you're hearing that stuff. That's my wires hitting my desk. Um, but uh, you know, uh, the f they're running off. They're uh, trying to catch up Bakugo, who's flying across the air. Uh, Monoma makes the whole uh, wind, frozen glass type of stuff uh, with the breath thing, whatever that quirk was, and Bakugo lands on it, and the dude takes Bakugo's. Two of Bakugo's bands, um, Kirishima's and his, and Bakugo's band, um, but, uh, didn't grab the, a thousand, the 10,000 band, which is on Bakugo's forehead, as, uh, Bakugo made an explosion, uh, swiped his arm, breaking through the glass, falling to the ground, but, uh, Jack hooks his, uh, clothes, floating him over back to, um, back to, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, to the team, and drops him on top of, uh, Izuka's shoulders, who's now basically ice skating with the whole group, who's, f and they're flying across the arena, they're moving at, like, Usain Bolt level of speeds, so no one else can k catch up, and Todoroki thinks that if they can get, uh, Izuku's headband, they'll win, so her group, uh, makes a U-turn, and, uh, steps in front of the path of Izuku, who can't really see through, uh, Kirishima, who's basically directing him, and he goes, left, right, up, down, blah, 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 and Izuku's basically just looking at a red, pile of hair, and, uh, pushing them forward with his feet, gliding through the ice, um, Todoroki has Momo make her stick thing, and then freezes it, and, um, uh, Kaminari, I believe is part of the group, I'm not 100% sure, uh, put, taps the ice, sending an electric charge through the frozen water, which, uh, water amplifies electricity, and, uh, it goes towards Izuku's ice, connecting to it, uh, Izuku realizing, uh, Izuku not realizing what's happening, they get shocked, um, Bakugo, however, um, jumps off to attack Todoroki, but his group gets shocked, and, um, uh, the gear, uh, short circuits, so they fall to the ground, but thank god they're, uh, they're basically, they don't have shoes, they're not, like, shoes, and they're sliding, and Izuku's, like, the only thing keeping him standing, and he's holding the whole weight of the group who are holding onto his shoulders, and he's holding onto Kirishima, who, uh, holding onto Kirishima's hips, basically, and, uh, or shoulders, whichever one you want, uh, 
and the the, th the four of them are sliding across the ice, pretty much doing like circle uh, donuts, spinning around. Bakugo who comes flying into uh, who goes go to fly into Todoroki, who uh, Momo creates a shield, handing it to Todoroki, who hits Bakugo in the forehead with the shield, and he falls to the, and he's about to fall and hit the ground when Jack flies, hooking him, and lifting him up out of the air. Todoroki, who's starting to be able to uh, fully hear Jack and starts to see, like, pretty much like a shimmer wherever Jack is, uh, lifts her arm, or her right arm, to use her fire, uh, you know, not realizing that she's doing it, and ignites the f air. But as we all know, fire hurts Jack, and it hits his shoulder, and uh, Zuku uh, feels the pain through his shoulder, and he, he, like, drops on the one knee, and they stop spinning, and, um, the group, like, basically breaks off each other, um, and they, uh, pretty much are about to, uh, fail as, uh, as Jack dropped, uh, Bakugo and fall onto the ground in pain, and he's, and people are starting to see him for real, and he's holding his shoulder, and he's starting, and it's starting to glow orange, and his, and now he's visible to everyone, and they can hear him, uh, which happens whenever he's in, like, uh, whenever he's in contact with fire. And him and Izuku are both screaming out in pain as Izuku's uh, shoulder starts to get third degree burns. And Todoroki's like, what just happened? And uh, Izuku taps his shoulder, freezing it solid. Um, standing up, running over to Kirishima, grabbing his shoulders, spinning him around, throwing him. And Kirishima catches Bakugo, keeping them in the game. I don't know if that's like legal, but uh, Moon Knight... Uh, not Moon Knight. Uh, is it Moon Knight? Uh... Not Moon Knight. Moon Knight's a Marvel character, or DC character. Yeah, no, Marvel. He's basically Marvel's Batman. Uh, uh, God, why can't I think of her name? I literally said it earlier. Oh, this is gonna bug the crap out of me. I almost said Night Eye. No, um... Uh, whatever. The, the, the girl who puts people to sleep with their smell or whatever uh doesn't count as them getting out so kirishima is now uh running with bakugo in his arms bakugo hops up on his shoulders uh uraraka who uh comes in grabbing bakugo uh helping carry bakugo su who's um checking on izuku who's there holding his shoulder frozen uh jack who's now not feeling the pain anymore stands up angry for some reason because well angry because he's this is like the second time he's ever felt pain and he just takes his hand dragging it across the ground making a huge avalanche of just ice freezing half of the arena including Todoroki's group and uh pretty much uh like 16 groups just got disqualified out of the 20 groups that were there um but everyone who's uh who's in uh in everyone who uh, makes it into the uh tournament uh doesn't get out except for Todoroki's group who gets hit but um uh then uh Todoroki who's uh literally using her ice powers for the first time to move ice around her uh and her group goes use your fire we have to melt out of here um uh, as Izuku stands up and walks over the Bakugo helping them up and they start uh, avoiding other people who are attacking and uh Todoroki breaks through with her fire, and, uh, Endeavor's like, Yes! Shoto! Whatever the fuck he says. Um, and, uh, you know, all that. And, uh, Izuku, you know, uh, the timer's, time ran out, uh, Izuku's team comes in first place again, uh, Toroki comes in second, uh, cause they managed to take, uh, they managed to take like two other hand headbands out, Uraka's and uh, and um, uh, uh, what's the other girl's name? God, I'm forgetting everyone's names today, aren't I? Uh, May. There we go, May Atsume. Uh, their headbands, but thanks. They have ten thousand. Uh, thanks to Midoriya's headbands and Bakugo not losing those ones. But, um, uh, Todoroki's team comes in with a solid, uh, 9,000, uh, literally 1,000 behind Izuku's group. Everyone else gets the same place as they do, um, 
Bakugo makes it in with uh, thanks to grouping up with his long friend or uh, childhood friend uh, Izuku. Everyone who makes it in in canon makes it in. Everyone who leaves the group in canon leaves the group. Um, so the tail dude walks away. Uh, so does the other dude who got mind controlled. And uh, he explains after finding out um, the order of the fights that uh, Todoroki, uh, no, not Todoroki, that uh, that Izuku is fighting the uh, fighting Shinso. Explains that his quirk might have something to do with him talking. And I'm going to leave this off at a 40 minute video. Length of normally two. Not normally. But sometimes two videos. I'm going to leave this off. I, I really hope you guys enjoy this. Because my next video is probably not going to be this long. And I'm probably only going to post this one. Since this the uh, You know what? I'm going to continue. I'm going to end the sports festivals. And this is going to be my last video for the night. Uh, the only video for my night. For tonight. As this is a long video as it is. Um. Uh. Let's go. Uh, Izuku and, uh, what's... God, why am I forgetting everyone's names? Shinso, there we go, uh, happen, uh, and they start fighting, and he goes and says everything that he says in canon. You're so lucky, you're so blessed. And, um, you know, Izuku, uh, after he says the tail dude's name, he goes and, like, he grins his teeth but doesn't say anything. And then uh, Shinso explains that he's so blessed. You know, he has a, like, useless power. When Izuku responds with, You're lucky you have a power. Most people don't. And then stops. As Shinso smiles and goes, Now, nah, walk off the edge. As Midoriya starts to turn and Jack's like, Wait, what's going on? And he, uh, he uses his hook, wrapping it around Midoriya's uh, uniform, stopping him dead in his tracks. And, like, Izuku's walking, but he falls onto his butt. And everyone's like, what's going on? And, uh, Shinso's super confused and is like, what, what's going on? And, uh, Jack drags Izuku over and starts, like, shouting at him. And he's, like, trying to hit him and nothing's happening. His hand's going right through his face. And, um, he puts Izuku's, uh, he lifts up Izuku's sh shirt, putting it up against his cheek, slapping the shirt, causing it to slap Izuku, who snaps out of it. Uh, turning around, going, standing up and like, uh, he's like, in his head goes, what the hell was that? Uh, and he's like, cause in his head he was like, why can't they move, why can't they move? And he was shouting at Jack, he was like, shouting Jack's name, who couldn't hear him. Um, but Jack finally snapped him out of it. Turning around, Jack's, uh, tapping the ground, uh, the arena, freezing it solid. Um, and Shinzo slips, falling on his back. And is uh, Sh uh Izuku uh walks over and uh you know doesn't say anything but starts pushing uh, starts like uh fighting Shinso who uh you know takes a punch to the face by Izuku and uh, Shinso punches him back in the stomach but um he realizes that he's not really doing anything Jack uh, Shinso goes for another punch Jack hooks his arm with his hook uh using his sleeve pulling his arm away. And Jack's like, what? And Shinso's like, what's going on? How come you're hitting me when you're not even moving? And Jack, uh, put, put, uh, like, hits him in the stomach with his stick. And, uh, uh, Izugu stamps back, smiling, um, and he turns around and, uh, lets Jack, ha or he sits down on a crisscross applesauce style and lets Jack start fighting. And Jack... Uh, hits uh, Shinso by the legs, sl sl uh, sweeping him under the legs, making him fall on his head. And um, uh, that's when uh, I almost said Moon Knight again. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna beat myself up after tonight. I, come on, I'm. Midnight! Yes! There we go! Uh huh. Uh, sorry, I'm just excited that I got the name back. Uh, Midnight uh, calls for a timeout, and uh, both of the boys uh, stand up. And Midnight looks at Midoriya and goes, What is happening? Oh, and, and he he goes, Oh, yeah, I forgot you guys can't see him. And I go, See who? And he goes, Well, my quirk isn't really the power to control ice. I My quirk is, a, is basically its own entity. And uh, everyone's like, What? And, uh, or, and uh, President Mike goes, What is he talking about, uh, Aizawa? Or uh, Eraserhead. And Eraserhead goes, Izuku Midoriya's quirk. It's called Frost. 
basically he has an entity in his body that gives him the power to freeze things. But the entity can't interact with people. And uh, that's when uh, Mike goes, we clearly just saw something hitting that boy. And he looks at him and goes, yeah. See, Jack can't interact with people, but he can interact with objects like clothing, pencils, pens, phones, and walls and stuff. Of course, he can also go through them if he wishes. It took Jack many years just to figure out how to interact with clothes, let alone interact with anything else. So, uh, it, so, um, that's when, uh, Min, uh, uh, not Midnight, uh, when, uh, President Mike goes, so, technically, it's not cheating, then, since it's his quirk that's helping him. And Aizawa goes, if they kicked him out for him using his quirk, it just show how petty this really is. And that's when, uh, uh, Razorhead goes, what do you, uh, not Razorhead, uh, Mike goes, what do you mean petty? This is a sports festival. And he goes, exactly. You just got, you just wanted to bring attention to UA. And that's when, uh, a lot of other people were, like, questioning what's going on here. And, uh, of course, Nezu is smiling as he agrees with, um, he agrees with Razorhead, but they need to hold these things for public, inter uh, for public, uh, 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 oh god, what's the word? public, uh, reputation or whatever, and, um, and he goes, the idea of having the sports festival, especially after the students were just attacked, is laughable, let alone stupid, and that's when, uh, Mike, uh, pushes his hour back over onto his back, and, um, uh, and he goes, enough with you, Aizawa, let's go back to the fight, M uh, and he looks at, uh, oh my god, I'm literally, midnight, midnight, What's your, you're the ref, what's your call? And she goes, I agree with Aizawa. It's technically, it wouldn't be fair if we kicked him out for him using his quirk. And that's when uh, she goes, continue the fight. And uh, Jack smiles, turning around, sla uh, smashing um, uh, uh, Shinso right up the groin with his staff. And Shinso falls onto his knees when Izuku comes running in, drop kicking him out of the bounds. And, uh, she goes, Izuku Midoriya wins! And then Aizawa's trying to get himself up in his bandages. And, you know, looks at Mike with, like, angry anger. And Mike goes, oh, you're gonna punch me later, aren't you? <laughs> and Aizawa nods. And he goes, okay. Um, Izuku is the winner! And, everyone, and the crowd starts cheering. And they're like, yeah! And they're like, uh, and then he's upset. Uh, not him. Uh, Shinzo is upset. Not Midoriya. And starts walking away, you know, glummed, upset. But that's when his, uh, friends, quote-unquote friends, the people in his group, uh, class, like, explain to him that, look at, look at all the people, you know? Um, and some of the, uh, t uh, some of the, uh, pro heroes are like, if it wasn't for that kid's quirk, he would have been out of bounds. This kid's quirk, however, is impressive. He can control anyone. Yeah, imagine what you could do with that. Get a villain to submit without even having to lay a hand on them. How much trouble we get in for violence. We could literally stop a fight before it even happens. And, you know, a lot of heroes are, like, super impressed and, like, writing his name down, like, as a, an idea. And Shinzo smiles and turns around and goes, Hey, kid. And Izuku looks at him and goes, What? And he goes, You were right. I've been looking at this wrong. I am lucky. Some people don't even have quirks. And I'm sorry. Turns around and walks away. And Izuku, uh, uh, not Izuku, Jack looks at Izuku and goes, See, you are a hero, changing people's hearts. And him and Jack walk off. Ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Next fight, Todoroki, uh, who bumps into her father, looks at her and goes, That kid's giving you a bat. That kid is, uh, totally, he goes, that Midoriya boy is destroying you in, in control of his power. You need to really step up your game. When you get home, you're doubling your training regimen. You know, and she gets upset about this, walks off, shouldering him, and, you know, continues walking, and he bumps into Midoriya, who looks at him and goes, Oh, Endeavor. And Endeavor immediately feels the temperature drop in the room, just like at his home, and he lights up on fire, and uh, he goes, that thing's back. And, uh, uh, Zuka's like, what thing? And he goes, some ghost attacked my house the other day. 
or uh, not some ghost, some villain attacked my house the other day. I couldn't see it until it showed it, it showed itself. And Azuka goes, oh, yeah, speaking about that, I needed to explain. Uh, that was my quirk. And Endeavor looks at him and goes, why would your quirk be in my house? And uh, he looks at him and goes, uh, and uh, Midoriya looks at him and goes, well, you see. And then all of a sudden you just hear, what? And the whole hallway catches on fire and Azuka's running away. And bumping into Todoroki, who's like, what happened? And he goes, well, I explained to your dad that I ended up going to your house. And he comes around the corner going, you're going to die. And Todoroki steps in front of him. And he like, go, and she goes, leave him alone. And it, uh, I almost called him Todoroki. His name is Todoroki as well. But um, Endeavor looks at, him and, looks at her and goes, move it. And she goes, no. And he goes, whatever. Keep that kid away from my house turns away and walks off. Izuku's like, you really saved my butt there. And she goes, um, saved your life. If I had let him get to you, you would have ended up killing you. And Izuku goes, eh, that doesn't really make me any less scared. And she goes, whatever, and walks off. And, you know, you know, uh, pretty upset. The next match happens when, uh, uh, Todoroki versus Shiro, I think his name is, the guy with tape elbows, wraps up Todoroki, swings her around, and is about to throw her out of bounds when he gets frozen solid with the giant icer glades that freeze, like, the whole half of the arena, and everyone, and, you know, uh, Mike is, uh, like, wow, another oppressive ice, uh, another oppressive power of, uh, another impressive power from a t the Todoroki family, you know, and the your head's like, yep, she'll be one great hero one day, and, and you know, Todor and, uh, Todorok Todoroki says, sorry, but I'm kind of upset, and un uh, unfreezes, uh, uh, Shinzo, or not Shinzo, uh, whatever the tape dude's name, uh, elbow, tape elbow dude's name is, out of the ice, and, uh, you know, Walks off. Todoroki wins. Blah blah blah. Next fight. Todoroki and uh, and um, well, uh, Izuku. Todoroki's upset. Um, you know, they f they start off. Todoroki makes an ice attack, and uh, Izuku moves it, uh, making it turn and attack Todoroki, who can't do that, so jumps over it or dodges it, and starts fighting. And they start shooting ice at each other. And Izuku starts making ice, like, sh like shards of ice, just like, like, um, I think Killer Frost, who shoots the ice sickles, and they're shooting at Todoroki, who's, uh, making an ice wall, and the ice pokes through the wall, um, and when the ice hits her ice wall, it literally moves the ice around itself, shooting through the wall, and she rolls out of the way, and realizes that she's not gonna win just by using ice against Midoriya. And she also knows that, uh, she, uh, even if... She could attack Midoriya, you know. She still had to fight Jack, which is impossible as he's not like someone you can interact with. Um, that's when um, she asks Midnight for to pause. She needs to ask a question. Midnight says, "That's enough," and uh, you know, and Izuku stops. Todoroki melts the ice, looks at her, and goes, "How am I supposed to win if he has a quirk that can f continue fighting even after he's knocked out?" And, uh, that can fight, um, even without him. And, uh, that's when Midnight goes, good question. And he goes, uh, and she responds with, as long as Midoriya is out of bounds or knocked out, his quirk cannot win. So if we see Midoriya, since we cannot see his quirk, and you cannot interact with it, as long as you defeat Midoriya, you win. And he, she's like, okay. And then he, she goes, and fight! And Izuku immediately starts with a giant ice uh, fist, basically. A giant fist of ice going to punch Todoroki, who immediately lights up on fire, melting the ice. And that's when Jack starts, uh, like, realizing, uh, starts to realize his weakness as he remembers when, uh, when he got, in, when he felt the pain last time, the first time, he was in the same room as Endeavor's fire. And the second time... Uh, Todoroki shot him in the shoulder with fire. And he looks at Midori and goes, It's fire! That's my weakness! And Izuku looks at him and goes, Crap! 
and immediately makes a giant wall of ice shooting at uh, Todoroki, who makes a giant wall of ice herself, and they clash. And then Todoroki does the whole explosion thing that pushes the whole thing. And then the, all the ice melts rapidly, blowing up. And um, uh, to Todoroki slides back. Izuku slides back. They both, both make ice walls to stop themselves. And that's when Jack spins around shooting a bunch of ice himself. Todoroki, realizing where Jack is, shooting him, hitting him in the leg. And that's when Midoriya falls to the ground, holding his leg. Um... And, uh, she realizes that Jack is vulnerable to fire. And, uh, she lifts her hand, aiming it at Jack, shooting it again, hitting Jack on the shoulder, and he falls to the ground, not getting knocked unconscious. And Izuku's there, holding his shoulder and his leg, as Midnight's like, what's going on? And, uh, that's when, uh, Aizawa realized, oh, not Midnight, that's when, uh, President Mike's like, what's going on? And that's when, uh, Eraserhead realizes what Izuku's weakness is, and he goes, I figured it out. She figured it out. Uh, no. uh, she figured it out. It's his weakness, his fire. When Jack is in pain, so is Izuku. They're connected, and fire is the only thing that seems to harm him. And uh, Izuku's on the ground, holding his leg and his shoulder, and his eyes start to glow white. And uh, all of a sudden, a tornado of frozen winter, or just winter, freezes the whole arena, and a storm. Expanding the entire arena, the outside starts spinning, winds gusting, ice shards are flying around, and it's cutting Todoroki and the audience, and everyone's super confused. Now I think the Avatar state, if anyone wants, um, but um, basically when uh, when Jack is in uh, in extreme amounts of pain, he gets angry and loses most uh, pretty much loses self control. This is just something I'm making up on the fly. But um, since Jack is uh, linked with to Izuku, so does Izuku. And Jack and Izuku are in the same position on... Not Jack. Jack's not knocked out, we'll say. Jack's on the same position as Izuku. And they start to merge. And Jack floats back to where Izuku is. And they both stand up at the same time, lifting their arm. And clenching their fist. And all of a sudden, a bunch of shards of ice grow. And fly towards Todoroki from every angle. And that's when they all stop right like two inches away from her face and she's like holding her arms up um and midnight midnight is literally holding on to for dear life onto the metal on the ground and uh uh izuku's about to uh you know it was about to accidentally kill todoroki as he uh snaps out of it uh due to bako going you need to calm down from the audience uh, and, uh, Izuku snapping out of it, but, uh, all of a sudden, the ice starts moving again, as Jack didn't snap out of it, Izuku did, and the ice starts moving, and Izuku starts fighting Jack as he pushes the ice away, and Jack turns around, swiping, getting a huge gust of wind to push Izuku flying towards Todoroki, uh, who helps him up, and they go, what, and she goes, what's going on, and he goes, uh, Jack must have been in a stream, uh, Jack, when he's in extreme amounts of pain, or, his feet and uh, or is angry. He loses control and attacks anything in in distance. And she goes, "That's not good." And he goes, "Yeah." And I don't have enough power to fight him. My power directly comes from him. And you know, she and he's like, "You know how strong I am. He's tr three times as strong as I am." And she goes, "Yeah, but you now have my help." And she slams her foot, shooting a giant wall of ice towards uh uh Jack, who stops the ice. Uh, literally f making it bend back towards Todoroki, who Izuku spins it around himself, and it starts making a spiral going straight up. And like, if you're a, if you're like outside of the uh, arena, like um, uh, what's his name, the Wood Dude, uh, 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 buh, 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 buh. Mount Lady, the Wood Dude, and the other guy, uh, Death Arms or whatever his name is. Are standing there and they just see a giant spiral spike of ice just stick straight out from the tornado and they're trying to get in and they're pulling on they're like punching the wall of just wind and uh mount lady grows and she looks over the um literally over the tornado as she's grown to like her max height which is just like an inch taller than the tornado she's on her tippy toes looking over and um that's when uh 
the wood dude uh, picks up uh, the dude with the super strength, the, those three, going up to the very top and um, onto Mount Lady's head looking down. And they drop down, um, asking Midnight what's going on as uh, uh, Mount Lady shrinks and uh, the wood dude, the wood pulls her over and, they go, and she goes, uh, no clue. And that's when a racer head races or tries to erase Izuku's quirk, which then doesn't work as Jack, as we all know, isn't a quirk. He's just a living being himself. Um, and a racer head's like, I can't erase the kid's quirk. And, uh, but he did erase. Now, here's the thing Izuku, he can erase Izuku's power, but not Jack's. Just for a twist. Um, and Izuku literally, uh, the spiral staircase stops spiraling and comes flying back down towards Izuku, who can't control it anymore, and is wondering why his power isn't working. And now Toro, uh, now, not, not Toroki, now, um, uh, Aizawa's wondering why Izuku isn't bending it back, and he realizes that he's not erasing, uh, the quirk, he's erasing Izuku's power. And he, and he stops and blinks, and Izuku immediately pushes the ice back, um, when Todoroki says, I'm sorry about this, Jack lifts her arm up, shooting a firebolt, basically going right through Jack's heart, knocking him out unconscious, and he falls to the ground. And Izuku feels the pain and falls to his knees, holding his chest, scraping at it, and, like, literally cutting his chest open with his nails as he's in pain. And, like, literally his chest is, from the inside out, is burning alive. And Todoroki puts her hand on Izuku's chest, freezing him solid. And, uh, or freezing, uh, not freezing him solid, I keep saying that. Freezes his chest... And he f falls around unconscious himself. And, uh, you know, now the sports festival, uh, Todoroki's declared the winner, but, uh, uh, everyone, you know, is shooken. And, uh, there's a debate going on if the sports festival should even continue. Um, but overall, the, uh, the deciding factor is that it does. Everything happens the same. Bakugo wins his matches, Todoroki continues winning her matches. And then it's just the two, down to the two of them. And everyone, like, thinks that it's going to be pretty, you know, not going to be as interesting as it was with uh, Izuku. Uh, with, you know, everyone's super excited to see her fight again. Um, and to see Bakugo as his power, you know. Just like in, uh, he showed his brute force when he fought uh, Uraka doing the huge explosion, pushing her back. And everyone was like, ah, blah, 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 blah. And the racer head um, stood up and, like, like, did the whole speech of Bakugo being, like, you know, you know, whichever hero you are, I might as well go hang up your cape, whatever he says. And, um, uh, the fight happens just the same, except for Todoroki does use her fire. As she sees, there's no point in not using it, as she's already used it this much already. And, you know, uh, sh and... No, she doesn't use it up until um, Bakugo has her in the grip that he does when he's about to win. When uh, she like, uh, when he puts it out in the cannon, um, she's about to put it out when she thinks back to the uh, car ride with Izuku in her limo. When he explains that she's lucky, she has two quirks. Some people don't even have one, and that it's not. It's and then the one thing she does remember the most of is, it's not his power. It's yours. And then her arm catches on fire, burning uh, Bakio's hand, and he drops, and he literally flips over her, turning around, making an explosion as she waves her hand, lighting his clothes on fire, and now his shirt's burning, and he has to remove it, and she makes a giant ice wall, freezing him solid, just like she does with uh, uh, Ciro, the tape dude, and freezes him solid and wins. Now Todoroki is in first. Midoriya comes in, uh, uh, comes in uh, the same place he does in... Well, not the same place. Yeah, he's, he comes in the same place as he does in canon due to him losing to Todoroki. Um, but, uh, you know, he gets way more votes than he... Like, he gets none, actually, in, uh, in the uh, thing. So, we're just... This is already an hour long. Uh, Izuku's uh, in recovery. Uh, you know, he won't have any permanent damage except for his shoulder will have... Uh, from his shoulder down to his elbow, will have third degree burns for the rest of his life. He could get skin grafts or hide it, but um, it will be pretty cost expensive. Um, and he wakes up, and uh, you know, recovery girl uh, tells her the news, or tells him the news of uh, his arm. You know, might not ever be the same, and that he can get surgery, plastic surgery, to get it fixed, skin grafts. 
um, but it will be expensive. And that's when uh, Todoroki, Bakugo, Uraraka, and Ida run in. And, you know, she's like, he's okay, he's out of recovery, and uh, you can see him now. And, you know, uh, Uraraka, Bakugo, and Ida are like, are you okay, are you okay? And uh, Todoroki's there, you know, starts crying as she just hurt the person she literally has feelings for. You know, and everyone's like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> And Baku, I was like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And, uh, Ida, and Ida's like, yeah, it's not your fault. Uh, and Uraraka's like, well, it kind of is. Or not uh, Baku, uh, Baku, yeah, not Uraraka. Baku is the one who goes, well, it kind of is. And Uraraka and Ida are both looking at him like, Arr. and like they're about to kill him. And he's like, okay, you're going to shut up. Um, but uh, that's when uh, Midoriya looks at her and goes, it's okay. It just shows me that I'm going to have to get stronger. And, uh, you know, she stops crying and goes, I heard what uh, Recover Girl said about you can probably get skin grafts. But it's, and he goes, yeah, but it's too expensive for my family to pay for. And she goes, if you want, I'll pay for it. And he goes, eh, it's okay. It'll be fine. And he goes, plus, I think it adds character. And Bakugo looks at him and goes, you're one crazy son of a, and swears. I'm not going to say the swear as I am. Uh, very, very foolish. I think I'm just gonna post this video today. I really hope you guys like this. I really, I'm proud of myself for doing an hour of video just talking. You guys probably learn. You probably hate me. You're like, shut the f up. You're like, I'm literally gonna find where you live and shank your f***ing ass. I'm like, please, please don't. If you're gonna do it, just stab my neck. I'd rather die that way. Um, but, um, uh, yeah. So, uh, I think I'm going to leave it off with that, except for... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to leave it off with that. Uh, we le we go to uh, the um, to school, and uh, he shows... This is where we're going to leave it off after. Um, Ida's brother did get uh, attacked, but he didn't get killed. And he's not paralyzed, as the reason is um, his sidekicks found him earlier. And, uh, like, stopped staying and caught him. Or they, they didn't catch him, but they, like stopped him before he could kill her, uh, Ida's brother. Tensei will walk again, except for he will have extensive damage on his left hip, meaning he will have to have, uh, he's have, he's literally in surgery now, and, and Ida hasn't gotten this, uh, the call as um, his phone's been in the locker, and the sports festival's been going on the same day. And uh, he has like six notifications, but um, uh, you know, and this is where we're gonna leave it with Ida realizing, uh, Finding out he has 12 missed calls from his mother and four uh, teen from his dad. And hell, he has six calls from his brother's phone as well. And he, uh, he calls his mom and she explains everything. And we leave off with uh, Ida dropping his phone on the ground. And uh, the next video will be uh, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, uh, yeah. Wow. Um, well, I hope you guys have a nice day. I hope you guys stay safe. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I didn't know I certainly did. This was a blast to film. An hour long. Hour eight minutes, actually. Wow. Um, yeah. See you guys. Hauser, signing out.